Hello again and welcome back to the card mat. I had a nice little fun one this and it's based on a very simple principle and you probably all know the effect. This is just a, a more elaborate way of covering it up shall we say so it's not so much in the spectator's face so they can see what's going on. Yeah, packet can get shuffled, it is impromptu. Spectator can choose any card they like, it is a complete free of their own will choice. They've picked the Eight of Diamonds in this case. You will then look for your two special cards, which could be anything you want. I will take my second in command and my little lady. My two sexiest cards in the entirest whole pack. You will say, I'm going to show you something weird now. Watch this. And you will fan the packet out and put their cards somewhere into the middle. I will then put my little lady into the packets and my second in command into the packets so they are surrounding your card that's where the packet you can see they are surrounding your card we will now put these into the box just like so but i will let you see your card and my little ladies disappearing into the box first now hopefully with a little bit of magic and a little bit of luck We'll let all the cards fall into the box and one card stays sticking out of the box and yes you can see it is only one card sticking out of the box thank you very much yes that one's just i'll show you it that way i'm not cheating you that one's just got stuck with the little flap you see it is directly in the middle and I will do my damnedest to pull it out so you can see it is in the middle and we will spread it to show it is in the middle and there you go yeah you probably already know exactly how to do it yes but I will show you some little necessities that might make it work just a little bit better for you shuffled you get the script they pick the card you go through take out I should have got them out while I was there, shouldn't I? Any two cards you like. We'll go for the same two. There we go. What up, what up. You will then fan the packet. You can make any storyline up to this you'd like. Um, I, I did normally do it as a Houdini. Houdini breaking out of any prison he can. So he gets put in chains. And then he gets a guard standing to one side of him. And he gets a guard standing to the other side of him. And he locked the doors. Whoops. Make sure that they all stay up. And keep a grip at the side of the packet. Keeping them together. Yeah, they lock the doors. And they go towards the cell. Pinch the packet at the side. As you put them in. Don't grip the box too tight. Because you'll prevent things from happening here. Just hold the box lightly. Hold the packet at the side as you push them two cards down which pushes as you know then cards out this side then grip the packet from the front nice and tight and from the front nice and tight hold it on a slight bit of an angle and then just ooh, let go and all the cards fall into the box apart from that back one again little bugger and you can show that the card is the only one in the entire box sticking out. And if I pull it out, because I can't remember what card we picked. But there you go. Yeah, it was the two. Because it was put in between the two queens. But you know what I mean. It's that simple effect where you've just got the selection stuck in between two cards. And you tap it on the deck once, bang. And then you tap it on the deck again, bang. And lo and behold, their card pops up. But that's too much in the spectator's face. Doing it this way disguises it ever so slightly. But anyway, I'm going to shut my face and get off. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can make use of it. And I'll see you again soon. Right, for those of you who have stayed past last orders, good for you, because there was an important part I didn't mention in that. I just said, put
put the day card in the middle with one card above it and one card below it. If you do that, it's not going to bloody work, yeah? And half of you already know that. What I neglected to say to them that didn't know what was going on is when you put their card in, you put one of your cards, one card below it, and the other one, one card above it. If you see what I mean. So you get a mini farrow in the middle. Their card, one of your cards, one card above, one, one card below. And then it will work. Otherwise, it won't work. I am very sorry that I didn't mention that in there. I got carried away with telling you my little storyline as I was doing that part. So it's your fault for distracting me, asking me questions. I don't know. Anyway, this time I'm really shutting my face and getting off because I know now I'm really bored yet. I'll see you again soon if you can be bored again with me.